Hi, this is Charles Berman from the Most Important People in the World podcast, and I think I'll let the next interview largely speak for itself. It's with Gene Ray of TimeCube.com, who describes himself as the world's only expert on cubicism, the theory of the time cube, and the uh, wisest human and above God. Uh, and he explains why we're all educated stupid. It's TimeCube.com. It's a fairly well-known website, actually, and so I was happy I got to interview him. And uh, as you can hear, we have some other people in the studio also asking him questions. Um, so uh, sit back and enjoy Gene Ray on WHRW from several years ago, www.timecube.com. I want to get right into the program this evening because we're going to have a very important interview right now with uh, the discoverer of the time cube theory and the wisest human, Dr. Gene Ray. Now, let me see if we can get him on the phone. Dr. Ray, are you here? I'm here. Now, thank you, first of all, for coming on the show with us. I appreciate the uh, privilege. Now, this is actually a university radio station. We're the station of the State University of New York at Binghamton. And I know that you've been especially eager to um, debate your points at universities. Right. Um, so before we start um, doing a, a back and forth, can you just explain the basics of TimeCube for the listeners? Well, basically, the uh, I have a clear plastic cube. It represents the time in the four corners of time. The opposite midday corner is midnight corner, and where they join, you have the two miners of sun up and sundown. You have the Earth sphere inside that cube. The Earth has four corner quadrants. Each quadrant rotates its own separate twenty four hour day, and so there, there are four different days. We only measure from one corner, and the uh, the I've had that uh, unit at Georgia Tech. It's simple math, but the students can't understand it because they've been uh, the the, the uh, mind has been. Uh, they, they cannot think opposite of what they're being taught. So they only know what they've been taught. They cannot comprehend simple math of the time cube. But the, uh, and we're teaching singularity. Uh, uh, the creation is cubic, but the singularity is cancellation of the opposites. In other words, we are teaching, preaching death because the, uh, the whole universe is composed of opposites which equate to a zero-value existence. No. Ex existing only as opposites. Now, so this is actually relates to a lot of theories that are in currency in, um, in actually linguistics and other fields, is that all meaning comes through opposition. So you can't have, for instance, good without having meaning for the term bad, right? Right. The, the, like I say, the whole universe is composed of opposite, and, and as an entity, it ceases to, it, it cancels out. All humans exist between the two opposite, between the opposites of male and female, which equate to a zero value existence, no. existing only as opposites. As an entity, they cancel out, they don't exist. There is no entity. Um, now, let me have, uh, just I want to clarify something about the time cube. Um, now, I have uh, another host here who's going to ask some questions, too. But um, you've talked about how everything is by opposites, and all meanings through opposites, male and female, for instance. But a, four, a cube has, has four corners. And why is it that, that we have two opposites that, that creates all meaning, but four corners in the cube? Well, like, uh, like a classroom. A teacher tells you to go stand in the corner... How many choices do you have? You have four corners, and they are opposites. One, one you put in the uh, midday, the opposite corner would be midnight. The other two, uh, sun up and sundown. Or uh, you could put in uh, mother and father and son and daughter. You got two majors and two minors. Everything is cubic. They say the definition of cube has six sides, but it does not have six sides. It has a, a two uh, vertical uh, four vertical corners and four vertical sides in between a top and bottom plane. So there's actually a lot of sets of opposites in the cube. That's right. The, the cube is the most perfect form of, of, of opposite symmetry within the universe. Now, 
I just want to ask you, because I think I understand how there's all these set, the symmetry of the cube and all these sets of opposites, but I don't really understand how the cube disproves God. Well, God is a singularity. There is no singularity. Everything is cubic, like a mother and uh, a mother and baby are the same age. There is no one day old mo- baby has a one day old mother. In fact, if you look at your four fingers, look at them, you got baby, child, parent, and grandparent. The grandparent shorter. They all create at the same time. There's no grandparent until the baby's born. Everything, everything is created cubic. Because if I understand right, we have four stages to our lives. We're born that's and we're a that's baby. Right. That's right. You're born a cubic because you're born to, to rotate the four stages of human metamorphosis. Now, I have, I'm myself not a scientist, uh, yeah. but... I have with me here Brandon, who's study. He's a scientist, and he's he's studied scientific method. And um, I'm I wanted to ask, have him ask some questions, just so we could make sure we have the science content of the of this theory, because um, I wanted to make sure that we had an informed interviewer about science. So, well, they they the scientists are misinformed. Okay, I, I, I've offered this the. Uh, the uh, Society of uh, Concerned, Society, uh, Concerned Scientists, I've offered them $10,000 to this, prove this, and they, they don't come back. They are educated in the singularity field also. Now, Sorry. Brandon here, say hello. Hi, how are you doing, Dr. Ray? Fine, how you doing? Good. Now, I was wondering, because you were talking about God as being a singularity. Um, when you refer to God as a singularity, is that because, you know, many uh, current cultures see God as a, in a kind of monotheistic manner, as only one God? Well, yeah, they, they, they do that. you got, what, maybe two, uh, over 2,000 different religions, and you're supposed to only have one deity. And well, that, that's what I promise. Everybody's got their own personal God. There is no entity. If you, the Earth has uh, the, uh, I'm saying, two equators. I mean, it has two hemispheres. It rotates in opposite directions. We keep equating to a zero value. If you add them together uh, into an entity, they, they don't exist. There is no entity. Everything is cubic. What about polytheistic societies that you know posit multiple gods? How does time cube resolve that? that well, that there is no. Everything is 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 uh, the principle of creation is cubic. It's not. It's not deism. It's, I mean, it's not a. Now, the deity, there is no God. That's our problem. We, we worship a singularity, and that the singularity is the cancellation of all the opposites of, of the, which, are, right, which exist in the universe. How does, uh, how does uh, we'll, we'll switch off, how does Time Cube tie into this idea, which I saw on your website, I'll, I'll announce that's www.timecube.com, T-I-M-E-C-U-B-E, I saw you said in there we're all slaves to to word, and I think I think you were referring to maybe something to do with the arbitrary nature of the sign, where words don't have any inherent meaning; they just signify whatever um, they do to each individual. Yeah, they're uh, fictitious. Yeah, yeah they're fictitious. Even the Bible said in the beginning that a word and became flesh became a god. Therefore, since word is all fictitious, the god of word is fictitious. But. We can only understand time cube through words. Well, the the uh, no, it exists without us. Okay. It, and and the true body, the self, is the lowest form of humanity because it cannot procreate. The family is a creation body, but it's not the uh, big, big body because it may just create only one sex. The village has multiple families with a near equal number of both sexes. Of all ages, that's the the village and the tribes are the two bodies. The, our governments are a foreign entity, and and when you are uh, six years old, your parents give your brain to the the academic singularity brotherhood, and they destroy your ability to think opposite of what they teach you. They teach you stupidity. Well, what about the people who make these breakthroughs that are completely against conventional thinking? Uh, guess what? What? I, I, I didn't catch what you were saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm asking that there are a lot of breakthroughs in science, for example, in physics. Let's say, let's go with Einstein when he came up with his theory of relativity, where these theories go completely and totally against conventional thinking in the field. 
Now, what you're saying is that people can't think opposite what they're taught, but in these cases, I mean, some would argue that that's what has occurred. Yeah, that's right. They can't. They cannot think. They only know what they're taught. In fact, the subject is not that valuable. The main, the the reward of e- education is how how good of a servant you become, how well you accept the test. I, I want to. Oh, go on. Yeah, it's not, it's not the value of, of what they teach you. It's the value of you accepting their enslavement. Uh, I want to ask you something just to clarify and put you straight on the record, because some people have, have accused you of being racist, and they've said you were racist based on certain things on your website. Now, do you actually think that um, you've said that there are four races, just like there are four corners of the cube? Right. Do you actually think any of those are superior to others? No, no I think they're all different. They're all equal. You can't have... Uh uh, the uh, a, a day without night, you can have white without black, and they all have their proper place on earth. Now, if you, uh, I'm white, I married a white woman. Is that racist? Would you call that racist? No, no. I'm I'm just asking because some people said I didn't say it. I'm 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 being neutral. I'm trying to be neutral. Well, I'm neutral. I think okay. they have a proper place, but I don't think they should be integrated because mm-hmm. uh, they are. Uh, when, well, without law, they 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 they, they going to seek their uh, uh, revenge for their slavery. But they haven't been slaves for years. I mean, they can go back to Africa anytime they want to. But they don't want to go back with the black people. They want to stay with the white people. My mother-in-law during the uh, Depression time, she sold skin white, and she made a living selling skin white. They want to be white. They want to be with white race. They don't want to go back to Africa. Right, I think I think um, most people who live there of, of any race that live here probably want to stay here. Um, but I mean, what would you say would be the solution to that, Doctor Ray? Well, I think if the law ever breaks down in this country, you're going to have a major slaughter in this country. And uh, just like over in South Africa now, the whites can't own land or where they can own land what they've got now. But if they uh, sell it, uh, they can't buy new land. But the the, the uh, South Africa the government owns all the land and it's all black land and and so the some of the country the whites can't even vote and you're gonna have that with the when the blacks become majority you, you now this country's going through the the, the redskin the Indians is going through the white race and we're becoming the minorities the blacks going to take over and then the Asians are going to take over because. The black can't stand up to the agent, so you're going to go through the four corners in this country right here. Um, yeah, how do we, just a question, you mentioned how um, this, this, we're going through four corners in this country. Do you think it's just natural that that's the way it should be because everything's cubic, or do you think that the Europeans had a right to come over here um, when they well, did and take no, over? No, they had, really had no right to come over here. And so, in fact, we've got the... And we've got the the uh, redskin incarcerated now in the uh, uh, reservations, and that we, we we get them there. How many redskins do you see in the media on their TV? You hardly see them. They all incarcerated. I I talked to black uh, students from the University of Florida, and they said they didn't care for the Indian. Said the Indians were racist. I yeah, just have we, to. Um, we have to play this. It's uh, just a station announcement. It's very quick. I'm sorry. Okay. This program may contain language or materials that may be considered offensive. The views expressed to those of the engineer and in the the views of the management of WHIW or about the WHIW station. Members, therefore, we advise you to carefully consider whether you or your children listen. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. that We just had to, we have to play one of those every hour. Yeah, okay. Um, so, do you think that the Europeans then should go back to Europe the way you said, um, you thought Africans could go back to Africa? Well, they're going to have to recognize that the uh, that we do have uh, that you do have to be divided at a certain stage because we got the Mexicans coming in here who are the Indians. They coming back taking over, and and it's what you're doing is you're mixing up just just like mixing day and night and and sun up and sundown everything together. We destroying everything. We 
and we have no limitation on anything. There's no limitation on the people that come in this country, and we're gonna have a, we're gonna have one of the, the worst conflicts or slaughter in this country that you've ever seen. Because we're gonna be so packed in here, and so many people have weapons, and and and, and this country is uh, uh, go down one day as a huge slaughter, because we have no, we, we just keep building and building with and the, uh, all the farmland becoming. More, more, you make more money on it selling condos than you can farming on it. So one day we won't even have food in this country, and it's going to go go down like East Island. Are you familiar with East Island? Yeah, and this is something Brandon and I uh, were, were curious about because, and it's something I've been curious about with Time Cube is how can what knowing about Time Cube if we can understand it and and go to timecube dot com and and try to understand and listen to this interview and, and understand the theory. What can we do with TimeCube now that we have it? How, do, how does it um, improve the way we can act in the world? Right, Brandon? Yes, what, what, that's a good question. Well, one, one, thing, one thing, you need to burn all the Bibles. The Bibles are of the, one of the worst inventions of hu- humanity. And uh, we need to burn those, and we need to be, uh, get, uh, uh, get set up as tribes and villages again rather than depend on the government. The government is really... Uh, the power of, of the uh, politicians and uh, in- industrial thing, which are destroying everything. I mean, the, the government is one of the greatest enemies of the people. Mm-hmm. And, and so uh, if you don't recognize it, and, and and in the time cube, you go around the four corners. Today, we inherit yesterday. We can change it and make tomorrow better. It's like leaving a dirty kitchen. If you leave a dirty kitchen tonight, you inherit a dirty kitchen. If you leave a clean one, you, you inherit it. And we can change it every day, but we're going around and we inherit the the uh, uh, what we the uh, crashing of what we left yesterday. We, you're going around, you, so you got to leave it good at night, and so you can inherit good tomorrow. But the way we go on the society, like a party boat drifting down a river, and you go out there and yell at them and say, "Hey, there's a thousand foot waterfall a mile down the river." And they just keep waving back, and they're heading for the waterfall. And that's what our society is doing. But most people say, hey, I don't care. I'm just living for the day. Anybody that says that has no right to, uh, to live through the night. Mm-hmm. Now, they, don't, they don't deserve it tomorrow. Dr. Ray, I have a question for you. Um, I was looking over some of your theories and some of your mathematical proofs, and one thing that I came across was that you feel that negative 1 times negative 1 equaling positive 1 and if I have the words wrong, excuse me, are stupid and evil. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, okay. You, if you, are you familiar with uh, uh, the antipode, everything has an equal opposite. The opposite of the Greenwich uh, in England is a group of islands over by New Zealand they call antipodes. Everything has an exact opposite. Uh, and so let's say if you draw a line on one side of it, you got plus one times plus one equals plus one. On the bottom of it, it should be a minus one times minus one equal to minus one. And and those are cancel out. They only exist as opposites. So our math, even in the uh, on the web, it says they only use the plus because it works out. They say the minus one doesn't work because it, it, it's not supposed to work because it's supposed to be an equal opposite to the plus one. Well, I have two questions regarding that exp- the, that explanation. The first one being, wh- why do you classify you know inaccurate math as evil as opposed to just being inaccurate or wrong? Because everything is based on it. It's self destruction. We do we destroying life on Earth with it. All our all our math and science is based on it on, on erroneous math. And this would be, I assume, when you talked about the simple math, you talked about it at MIT. This is it with the antipodes, right? Well, the the uh, uh, the whole. Uh, academic association uses the uh, plus one. The uh, like you got uh, uh, the uh, pi three point fourteen. If you uh, now we use uh, like a hundred hundred in a totality, hundred percent a totality. If you use the the uh, like the uh, uh, the time cube, which has four twenty four hour days, equal to a ninety six so. Uh, percent totality. If you use that, the pi would be 3.20, which would be the perfect pi, which, which is 80 percent of four. But our math is wrong. Our odd numbers are wrong. You can't go backwards and divide uh, uh, 
divide by odd numbers. You can multiply by it, but you can't go back and divide by it. And uh, it, it's like if you want to uh, uh, reverse engineer your, your, your creation, if you want to go back to the beginning, first thing, you have, you have four grandparents represent four corners. Each of them have four. Each of them have four. Each of them have four. Going back ten generations, so you got a million ancestors. If you keep going, you got more ancestors than have people on Earth. So how far back do you go? According to the Great Pyramid, the four corners... Uh, your grandparents, four cornerstones, your great grandparents, four fours. You don't say 16 because you got positive negatives there. And so that's as far as you go back to your ancestry. It, it's a four fours. You're like on your hands, uh, you got four fours. Now, I have a question. There are some modern mathematical theorems which would be calculated in what would be considered, I guess, conventional mathematics that do say they show that negative one times negative one would equal negative one, which is what you believe is the case, correct? How, how do you feel about those? Well, the negative one times negative one is, is, let's say the positive one times positive one is like saying a North American times a North American equal North American. The, the, the negative one times negative one is like saying a South American times a S South American. It should equal a South American, but we change it to a plus to make it equal a North American. What, what I'm saying, but what what I'm saying is that there are some mathematical proofs which actually do show negative one equaling negative one times negative one equaling negative one using the same mathematics which you previously were saying is stupid and evil. But it gives you, Ed, but this mathematics now says the provides the answer that you think is correct. So, I mean, what, what how do you feel about that? Well, this if it's in, the, in if it's incorrect, it, the the whole thing is incorrect. It needs it needs to be changed. I don't know, uh, uh, but the the ones in the Doctor Math or whatever they say the only the only reason they use a plus one is because it works, which naturally it works because it's a positive. And they can work work it with a positive, but the negative would cancel out, and that's the reason they can't use it. Okay. Well, the, the negative is the proper math. A few other things. We've had actually a question from somebody else in the studio who wants to know what you're a doctor of, and I think you you are a doctor of cubicism, as, well, as far as I'm right, aware. Because, because I did, I bestowed that upon myself because the the uh, academia is absolute stupid in cubicism. They don't know anything about it. So that's the reason I bestowed it upon myself. Well, it, I, I, I do that to challenge them. Makes sense, because you're the only one that's qualified. Th that's right. Now, let me ask you, I mean, you are, of course, the only person, as far as I know, in the world that understands cubicism as, uh, perfectly. That, that's right. There's no other site. There's no other official site. This is the only site, and, 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 and the reason this site is kind of rough, it's really a collection of data that I'm going to use to go into a book, which will be explained. Everything will be explained. But this is just a rough thing. Every thought I write down. In fact, I've been writing down every thought I've had on this for years, for 20-something years. i got a ton of notes. I got kind of like what the uh, guy at the uh, said at the uh, this, uh, sun was the center of Earth or whatever. But the, uh, <clears throat> the Galileo, he had notes in some the college kid went in that and, and brought his discovery out, but I got tons of them. I've been writing it. I, uh, I mean, I, I use a ton of paper in here. I write down notes every day of this, and uh, and you can come back on them and you can change them. And you can't, in other words, if you don't do that, you can't remember all this stuff. Now, practically, I mean, we can go to this website, and it's it's a long website compared to other websites, but when when can this book come out that we, we might be able to read well, it? Well, I've not gone to the far as I can go because uh, I've, I've gone got to the spring head, you might say, and, and it's like you take a... Uh, did you know your father was a fish? My father's a fish. He yeah. doesn't look like a fish, though. All right, okay, you know how salmon swim upstream and the male fertilizes the female egg laid in the water? Right. Little sperm fish swims upstream, fertilizes the egg, it laid in the water just like the salmon do. Okay. <laughs> so he's not literally a fish, but he's and, metaphorically. And, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, but the, uh, uh, anyhow, just about uh, all, all our math and science are er erroneous. 
and and the cube I speak of is like in the classroom, which is cubic. You got the opposite corners, and uh, um, and so the opposites cancel each other out. In fact, the when you divide Earth into four quarters, they rotate in opposite directions. Therefore, you got two pluses and two minuses. Earth does not have 360 degree circumference. Right. Add, it's got four quarters. So, two plus and two minus. If you add them together, they cancel out. We've got a few more questions. Um, just one is just about a couple are just about you um, because you uh, you are the one that knows this. I mean, how did it come to you? How did you become Gene Ray? Become the wisest human? When did it come to you? Or how did what did you do to figure it out? Time cubed. I've been researching for twenty something years and based on my life experiences. And I give my mother credit for my my uh my birth and uh it, it's the it, it begins in that the family is created simultaneously mm-hmm. and, and it's, it's not the 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 uh the god we have is, is a uh a, 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 a jew i have no i got a jew ne- new nephews and nieces and, it is, and my sister married a jew boy i got nothing against jew but n- uh, no jew had anything to do with my birth and and uh if you're a Christian, you got to be a, a Jew because you believe in the Jews. Your academia, your government, it's all Jewish because it's based upon a Jewish God. Do you think there's a Jewish conspiracy? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a conspiracy of stupid people. And, uh, but that is, of that, dunces. It's a conspiracy of dunces. What's that? Uh, well, nothing. Um, but, but that, well, that, 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 we have that, we have somebody in the studio who has a question. Is that if if you're the only one that understands it, how did you do research? I mean, who did you research if you're I, the only I one? Do deep thinking and evaluation. I mm-hmm. do a lot of studying. I buy a lot of books, and I uh, get email from people all over the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so uh, <clears throat> that's how uh, it's it's, uh, uh, it's a constant thought. If you put stuff in your mind, it, uh, the answer will come to it. And I've had to change a lot of stuff. Like I used to believe in circles, but the uh, like kind of like the game of marbles that the kids used to play. If you draw a circle, it represents a body. You put this marbles in the cells, and life is activity. It goes outside, and which is death. And then the, the two spirits take the uh, cells and go create new bodies. But you the, you, you take, mentioned. Oh, go on. You take a, a, a zero, draw draw a zero circle. And it represents nothing until it's divided. And when you divide it, you create something from nothing. That's where everything comes from the universe. You're dividing nothing. But right, you, you can't create, divide create nothing, opposite. though. Yeah, you're creating opposites. And right. that's when you're creating something from nothing. Right. Now, uh, you, you mentioned marbles. I, I saw on the Internet... You used to be an expert on marbles in yeah, the past. I, I have a trademark and service mark in Mr. Marbles. I've written one of the, one of the, probably the best books on the game of marbles that have been written. I've had marble tournaments. My grandson participated in the, the uh, U.S. Uh, marbles championship. They have a marble world championship in England every year. But are you and, still associated with the game, or have you pretty much lost your marbles expertise? Well, no. The, uh, I've still got my... Mr. Marbles outfit with big marbles all over the white suit. And uh, like I say, I've been on national tech TV. One of my tournaments I had in St. Pete, uh, the guy that won it, his sister saw him on, it was an old time tournament, and the, and the uh, guy that won it, his sister saw him on TV in Dayton, Ohio, and they hadn't seen, uh, talked to each other for 20 years, and they got together after that. Wow, congratulations. But, but I've been on national TV with that a lot, and, and, uh, I used to sell this book a lot. I sold it, and I got. Uh, I don't have time for it no more. Mm-hmm. But if the game of marbles were organized, you had marble playing centers, and 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 uh, played for big money, it'd be the biggest play the game of skill in the world. Bigger than baseball and and it'd soccer be and everything. Than baseball, because even in Tennessee now they got some public playing areas. But if you played a game of marbles for a thousand dollars. You know, anybody you might have an eighty-year-old competing against a six-year-old. Right, and it's and it's it, even, it's equal. Yeah, because you get money in it, and it's a, a game of skill. It's not a chance. Mm-hmm. And so it would be the biggest play of the game. But I had to get out of that. And I got in inventions and put on invention seminars. I got a 
friend that, that just won a, a $500 million uh, lawsuit for infringement on his barcode um, uh, reader. And uh, Jerome Lemerson, he got over 500 patents. I got about 10 or so. <laughs> and, but but I've had to spend the very, all my time to this time cube thing uh, uh, it's, it's more important now. Before we ask you our last uh, question or two, could we have you just do a station ID for us? Could you say this is Gene Ray, the wisest human, and you're listening to WHRW Binghamton? Okay. This is Gene Ray. You're listening to the Binghamton station, WHRW, and, and Binghamton. Thank you. I've enjoyed the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor. Well, can we ask one more question before you go? I think uh, Brandon has one more question. Well, I was just wondering that um, in m most scientific theories, a requirement for something to be a scientific theory is falsifiability. And I'm sure you're familiar with the term, but just for those in the listening audience, falsifiability means it should be possible to perform an experiment where if you get some sort of result, it means that the, the theory is incorrect in some way. Is there any falsifiability in time cube theory? Well, the, if you, uh, our theory, the, the theory today is based upon an accepted assumption. It's not necessarily true. That the time cube is a principle which, which is just before your eyes. You're like, how many hands do you have? You say two. But no, they are left and right. In other words, like, Plus and minus. If you add them together, you don't have any hands. Everything cancels out. All our math and science are wrong. All our theories are wrong. So, <laughs> trying to prove the time cube is like trying to prove you have two hands. You just have to look at it. Well, I, I, and I have that uh, the, the little earth sphere and the clear plastic cube. The, the, the four qu quadrants of the uh, earth rotate inside the four corners of the time cube. Simple math. I held it up to Georgia Tech students. They don't have the brains to understand it because their education has destroyed their ability to think opposite of what they're taught. It, and, and the education suppresses the time cube. It will not allow students to, uh, to uh, even discuss it or debate it. They, and they will not, education will not even allow the time cube to be on their uh, uh, zoo, uh, uh, Google or uh, anything. It will not allow it to be on there. That kicks the kids out of school. I call the educators stupid and evil, and they can't even deny that because they would create debate and they'd be exposed. Now, I think this is our last question. Um, our last, well, maybe our last question. Um, we wanted to know, I mean, you are in your, your fourth quadrant now, we would say, of your life. Right. Um, and... Uh, you're the only person right now still in the world that understands Time Cube. What, what's going to happen after you? Who will continue the Time Cube and, and teaching the world about it? Well, they, uh, I hope to get a book written, and that's the only thing I can have. Nobody else. Now, it's a lot of people understand a lot of it, but there's no organization right now. And, and most of the stuff on, in Google, it has gone up, say, one of 10 of nine, uh, 89 million. But my, most of them in there are, is negative. But without negative publicity, I wouldn't have any. Because I'm not even allowed to buy it in the media. Media will not allow me to buy it. And, and so I'm, uh, they, uh, that's really neat. They say it, uh, uh, even bad publicity is good publicity. Mm -hmm. Brandon, do you have anything more to ask? Well, the only question I guess I have left to ask is, why Time Cube and not some other theory which could account for the same phenomenon that time cube accounts for well i don't know of one yet i mean everything comes down to the everything that comes down to the corners it's like if you a human is a corner of a great pyramid uh, and uh, that's a good one right there we personified pyramid forms the you got the four lines that going down the pyramid they go down to uh, the corners it represents your grandparents and your four cornerstone represents your great grandparents. They also the lines going down to the cornerstone. Each cornerstone has four uh, corners, so you got four fours. The the lines going down represents your arms and legs. They go down to four pads, your two palms and two soles, your feet, and each one of them got the four small digits representing the four fours. You can't say sixteen because they they cancel out. They're all four fours. 
Well, what about, have you heard of string theory? String theory is currently the front runner in uh, conventional theoretical physics for a theory of everything. So have you heard of that theory before? Yeah, the, the TOE, yeah. And, uh, but that, that's all erroneous. That's what the time cube is. But the scientists say when, when they discovered the time, and they told that, that the uh, uh, an average guy can understand it as well as the scientists. But they would made an error. The average guy, when I talk to people, they all understand it. But the damn sci- scientists are too stupid to understand it because they see, they're teaching and seeking singularity. Mm-hmm. They, they will never discover the time cube because it's cubic, and they, they are into singularity. Do you think that the cubist art movement was the only true art movement? Well, the uh, there's a lot more into that because the time cube really not only a time cube, it's a life cube and it's a truth cube because no human or God can uh, occupy or experience more than one corner at a time during a four-corner rotation. It's actually a life cube because you rotate the four corners of the family, the, the mother and father and son and daughter around it. And so it, it's more than just a time cube. Well, time is life. That's what, what they are. And so it's the uh, time cube, life cube, and truth cube, which you can't speak. No man or God can speak it because it's cubic. Right. I, I think that's, um, that's our questions, Dr. Ray. Uh, so I want to thank you very much um, for coming on the show uh, this evening and taking well, the time to do this. Well, I, I really appreciate the opportunity, and I thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Ray. Okay. Good night now. Night. And let me remind everybody who's listening that this is WHRW Binghamton, the station where the views expressed are those of the engineer and his guests and especially one guest, and may not represent the views of WHRW station management or other WHRW station members, or if expressed by the guest, those of the engineer. Um, And that has been an interview with Gene Ray, Doctor of Cubicism, Uh, and the self-proclaimed wisest human on earth. And I hope that um, just as he has expressed a wish for, that he has been able to have a real debate on this um, college radio station, Harper Radio Workshop here, because he's he's complained about not having a speech on colleges. And I hope that you, the audience, whether you're community members or students, have had the chance to draw your own conclusions about his theories and to come to an intelligent conclusion about whether you think he's uh, 